and in the mid-1960s, details started to leak out. One of the senior members of the CIA, Miles Copeland, revealed that he had been involved in organising coups throughout the world, starting in Syria in 1951. It seems to confirm from the inside many of the people's fears, worst fears, about the way in which American policy is conducted, for example, plotting to overthrow uh, the Syrian government and others, did you think that's a, a useful way of conducting a foreign policy? Keith, uh, I'm not going to make a moral judgment. I'm simply describing the way things are done. Yes. It is true. Now, let me finish. It is true that in many cases we would sit around in our attics of the State Department and we would have long discussions. Our government does not interfere in the internal affairs of a sovereign nation. And we meant that from the bottom of our hearts. And then we'd say, but in this is one case where we have to. And so we had to try to decide how to do what it was we said was against our policy to do. And we did, in fact, interfere in internal affairs of many sovereign nations. In America, the spies and their secret operations were also being used to maintain a fiction. Now, ever since the Second World War, the American government had been using the CIA to manipulate and overthrow the governments of many other countries. One of the most senior members of the U.S. State Department, Hans Morgenthau, had given this hidden system of power a name. He called it the dual state. America had to do this, Morgenthau said, because of the harsh realities of power in the world. But it had to be kept secret from the people, because revealing it would undermine their belief in democracy and in their exceptionalism, a belief that was essential in the Cold War. From the 1950s onwards, the CIA rigged elections, destabilized governments through fake information, and organized violent coups in Italy, Greece, Syria, Iran, Guatemala, South Vietnam, Indonesia, and Chile. In all, the United States ran covert operations to overthrow 66 foreign governments. And in 26 cases, they succeeded. Morgenthau believed that this secrecy was creating a dangerous time bomb at the heart of America.